Hello, grade 10 students. Today I'm here to teach you chapter 18 in your textbook that's called sets. So we need to talk about set theory. So one of the mathematicians called Cantor introduced set theorem. So we'll see how we can write down set notation. In grade 9, you have started to learn about sets. We'll take this one. A equals what it means. So here this is a set of A. We use capital letters to represent sets. Then here we use curly brackets and inside we write elements. These are called elements. So when you write the elements, you need to separate those by a comma. And if this is continuing, we can put three dots. If it's not continuous, you can write like this. For example, A, B, C, D. So that means in this set, you get four elements. And here, we use simple letters to represent elements. So this one you have done in grade 9. What are the things that you need to know? When you write a set, you have to use capital letters, elements with simple letters and separated by comma. And the other thing you need to remember, you can't repeat elements. Cannot repeat elements. So this set theory introduced by a mathematician called Cantor. Now we'll see how we can write down set notations. In previous grade you have completed these three set notations. Descriptive method, listing elements and Venn diagrams. In this year we are doing how to write using set builder method. We'll take an example. I'll take the descriptive method. A is a set that multiples of three between one and ten. So we we can write in words. That's called descriptive method. How can we write down the same thing using listing elements? So we need to see what are the elements? Multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, what's the next number? 12, like that. But it says between 1 and 10. So what are the elements? You can write 3, 6, 9. You can't write 12 because 12 is more than 10. So this way we call listing element method. Then Venn diagram. So one of the mathematicians called Venn introduced this set notation. So we can use a circle to represent a set. And then we can label this as A and write down all the elements inside the circle. So what are the elements? 3, 6, 9. So that's the Venn diagram notation. Now, how we can write down set builder method? So in set builder method, we write like this. We are taking the same example. A equals X. We are using 
a colon and then we can write x is in between 1 and 10 and also we need to mention this is multiples of 3. Now look at this one. So how can we read this? So when you are reading this set, we say the set A equals The set A equals for all x. Here we take for all x and we say the colon symbol is such that. For all x such that x is an element in between 1 and 10 and also multiples of 3. So we can say the set of A equals for X such that equals for all X, all X such that X is a multiple of 3 between 1 and 10. So that's what it says in set builder method. So we'll practice how we can write using set builder method. Now we'll take this one. So this is also in set builder notation. A equals for all x such that x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals 0. So here we'll try to find out what are the elements. So from this we can take x minus 2, x minus 3 is equal to 0. The product is 0. What can you say about the product? When the product is 0, you can say either this is 0 or this one is 0. Then you can write x is equal to take minus 2 to the other side, x equals 2 or x equals 3. So that means the elements belongs to A is 2 and 3. So how can we write down the same set notation in different ways? I can write A x such that x is an element in between 1 and 2 and 3, 2 and 3 and included. Included 2 and 3 and these are whole numbers. So what can I have to write? X is a, X belongs to integers. Can you remember the symbol for integers? Z letter. So we can write down x belongs to z or if you can't remember this symbol you can write these are integers. So this is another way of writing x is in between 2 and 3 but 2 and 3 included and all integers. Another way I can write without writing set builder method just the elements. What are the elements? 2 and 3. So what's that method? Listing element method. This is set builder notation. Another way you can write the solutions are 2 to 3 that means you can either write like this x such that x is in between 2 and 4 and here this is included but 4 is not included. That means less than 4. So what are the elements? 
2 and 3. And also make sure that you write down integers, the letter Z. So here we see we can use different notations for the same example. So these two, these three set builder method and this is listing element method. What about, what about Venn diagram method? Venn diagram method I can draw capital A and write down the two elements. So no need to put comma inside Venn diagram. So two and three inside the circle. So that's the Venn diagram method. So remember all these methods. What are the methods? First, descriptive method. How can we write down descriptive method? Here, I can write, uh, uh, how can I write in words? Elements or integers between 2 and 3 and also all inclusive. You have to write inclusive for 2 and 3. So this is the descriptive method. We are writing the set notation in words. Integers between 2 and 3 all inclusive. And this is set builder notation, this is listing method and this one is the Venn diagram method. Now we'll look at exercise 18.1. It says describe the set of all positive integers from 10 to 15 using the descriptive method. So how can we write now? So we can write any letter, capital letter A is equal to, within curly brackets, you can write down this one. All positive integers from 10 to 15. Then how can we write down the listing method. What are the elements? Positive integers from 10 to 15 means you can take 10 as well. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are the integers, positive integers from 10 to 15. How can we use a Venn diagram for that? We can draw a circle and label as A and put all the elements inside the circle. What about the set builder method? We can write A equals and then for all x such that with the colon sign and then you have to write down this one or using inequality method how can you write x is in between 10 and 15 but 10 and 15 inclusive such that we know these are positive integers. I can write x belongs to positive integers. Z plus, C plus represent positive integers. So this is how you write down listing method, Venn diagram and set builder method. Question number two. Describe each of the following sets using the descriptive method. A, 3, 6, 9, 12. How can we write now? 3, 6, 9, 12. What are those numbers? Multiples of 3. So we can write down A is a set that multiples of 3 
between 1 to 12 or 1 to 1 to any number we will say multiples of 3 between between 1 to 12 inclusive 12 because 12 is also a multiple we have to write inclusive inclusive 12 then how can we write down the second one in set builder notation not set builder descriptive method B is a set and this is Venn diagram given 2, 3, 5, 7. What are those numbers 2, 3, 5, 7? Prime numbers. So we can say B is a set That's, that is prime numbers. Less than 10. Prime numbers less than 10. Why? When you take less than 10, after 7, 8, 9, not, those are not prime numbers. So here, prime numbers less than 10. Then what about the third one? Third one, what can you write? C is a set. This is set builder notation is given. X such that X is a perfect square and in between 10 and 100. So we can take the same thing. We can write perfect square and in between 10 and 100. So these are the three descriptive methods to write down the sets A, B, C. Question number three, describe each of the following sets using the descriptive method. There's a mistake here. This should be not descriptive method, listing element method because these two are given in descriptive method. So this should be listing element method. Okay, we'll try with listing element method. Okay, all letters in the word Anuradhapura. So, X is the set notation with curly brackets and we can write down the letters and you can't repeat the same letter. So, A is there, N, U, R. A again, there are no need to write down. D, H, a, P, U is there already, R is there and A. So those are the elements belongs to Anuradhapura. What about this one? This is set builder notation is given. You are asked to write in listing element method. How can we write down? What are the elements? Prime numbers and in between 10 and 20. What's the first prime number? 11 is a prime number. 12, no. 13 is a prime number. 14, 15, 16, 17 is a prime number. 18, 19. So 19 also a prime number. So we can write down the elements 11, 13, 17 and 19. What about this one? This is Venn diagram method given and you are asked to write down in listing element method. So how can we write down? B is equal to what are the elements? 4, 8, 6, 9. So just write down the elements inside the brackets. 4, 6, 8, 9. You don't have to write in order. You can write 9 first and 8 after that. Fourth question. Describe each of the following sets using a Venn diagram. Now you are asked to draw a Venn diagram. So what we do, we draw a circle, label the set name, that's A, and write down all the elements inside the 
circle. What about this one? Vowels in the English alphabet. What are the vowels? If we write down the listing method, what are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. So we can draw a circle and label this as B and write down all the elements inside the circle. What about the third one? Y equals for all x such that belongs to C. What is Z? Integers. And x squared is equal to 4. So we need to find out what are the elements for x. x squared is equal to 4. How can we solve? We can take 4 to the other side and write down minus 4. Then factorize. What are the factors? This is difference between two square terms. I can write 2 squared in, instead of 4. Then difference between 2 square terms. One factor is positive and the other factor is negative. So x can be x plus 2 can be 0 or x minus 2 is 0. So x can be minus 2 or x can be 2. So minus 2 or 2. So those are integers. So we can write both for those integers. So here we draw a circle and label that's as y and write down these two elements x minus 2 and 2 inside the circle. That's how we draw the Venn diagram. Question number five. Describe each of the following sets using the set builder method. So it's given odd numbers between 1 and 10. So I can write x is equal to for all x such that odd numbers between 1 and 10. So I can write x is in between 1 and 10 in this form. So you can write x is odd number. And what about this one? Listing elements method given 0, 1, 2, 3. So we can write set builder notation y equals we can take x or any letter. We will take x such that x is in between 0 and 3. And we need to mention these are integers. So here I can take equal sign and write down x belongs to integers. Then those are 0, 1, 2, 3. This one 5, 10, 15, 20. Multiples of 5. So how can we write down the set builder notation? Z equals x such that we can write in between 5 and 20, 5 and 20 and inclusive 5 and 20 but we have to mention x is multiple of 5. Regions in a Venn diagram. Now we will see how we can represent notations in Venn diagram. We know the universal set we represent using a rectangle. So rectangle represent the universal set. What's the symbol? 
Have you seen this symbol? Epsilon, that's a Greek letter. Epsilon or E letter you can say. This is Epsilon is the universal set and represented using a rectangle. And if A is a set, how can we represent? I can represent using a circle inside the universal set. So A is a set. So A is a subset of the universal set. A is a subset of universal set. So when you draw this set, we get two regions, A or outside A. What you call outside A? So this one we can use with a symbol A dash, complement of A. That means not belongs to A. We call complement of A or we can write not belongs to A. So here if you want to shade the A region, we can take A and shade inside. That's A. Shading A. If you want to shade A dash region, that means everything outside A. So we can color outside this circle. So that's A dash. So we'll take an example. If epsilon is, if the entire set is A, E, I, O, U and A is A, I, U, what's A dash or complement of A? That means belongs to the universal set but not to A. So A then E comes for A dash, A, E, I, O, O and U. So A dash becomes E and O. So how can we put all these elements in this Venn diagram? A, E, I, O, U is the whole set. And A, I, U inside A circle. And everything outside, E and O, outside the circle, but inside the rectangle. So that's how we show any set A and the complement of that. Now we'll take this example. If silent given 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means all digits that we can write down. And capital A is 1, 3, 4, 6, 7 and B is 0, 3, 5, 6, 8. Show this in a Venn diagram. So how can we represent this, this in a Venn diagram? F silent is a universal set. So if you want, you can write down the set. But you don't need Then two circles are there. Are there any common elements? We see here, look at carefully, three is common. And what else? Six is common. That means when you draw the set A and set B, two elements are common to both. So when you are drawing the circles, you need to connect the two circles like this and which part is the common region? This is the common region. So you have to write down the common elements 3 and 6 
inside this common region. Then the other numbers, the other numbers 1, 4, 7 belongs to A. So that means when you take the circle A inside circle A but not in B. So we can write 1, 4, 7 inside A. What about B? 3, 6 common and the other elements inside B. 0, 5 and 8. Now universal set is 0, 1, 2. 2 also there. So where we put 2? 2 is outside both of these two circles. So we can put 2 outside here but inside the rectangle. 3 is there, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 9 also missing. That means 9 should be outside the two circle. So that's how we show the this example using Venn diagram. Now we'll see how we can represent elements in different set notations. First we'll take A dash. A dash means not belongs to A. How, what are the elements in A dash? When you take A dash means outside A. What are the numbers outside the, this circle A? So when you are, want to do that, close A circle and write down the other elements. 2, so you can write starting with 0. I'll erase this. 0, what else? 2, 5, 8, 9. So when you close the circle A. When you close the circle B, that's called B dash, outside B. So what are the elements outside B? 1, 2, 4, 7, 9. That's B dash. If I want the common region, how can I represent the common region? What's the notation? This notation, U upside down, A intersection B. So we call this is intersection. Common for both A and B. So here we can write down common to A and B. So what are the common elements? 3 and 6. So we can write 3 comma 6 for the common elements in A and B. Now, what's the other one? What is this one? A union B. Union B means A or B or both. So what is that means? That means belongs to A as well as belongs to B. So what are the elements? So you have to write down all elements in A as well as all elements in B. So we can write 1, 0, starting from 0, 1, 3, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. See how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here we missed 6. 6 also we have to write down. So what are the elements belongs to A union B? That means everything inside A or B or both. So we have to write down all the elements. If I want A union B dash. What can I write? A union B is there. Everything outside that. So when you cover A union B, what's outside? Elements 2 and 9. That's A union B dash, whole thing dash. What about 
A intersection B dash. I'll write, I'll write here. A intersection B whole thing dash. That means not belongs to the intersection, everything outside. So what are the elements outside? We can write 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 6. You can't write 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's A intersection B whole thing dash. Now we look at how we can shade the regions in the Venn diagram. So when you take a Venn diagram, you need to draw a rectangle with two circles A and B. It's easy if you can write down the elements A, B, C, D for all four regions. And now we'll see A intersection B is what? We can write A. What's A? A is B and C. What's B? B is C and D. Then we can clearly see what's common. Common for both A and B. That's C. So we can straight away write down A intersection B is element C. So where three is element C? This region. So we can shade this part. That's how we shade A intersection B. Now take A union B. For that we need to draw the Venn diagram. So we'll draw a Venn diagram with two circles AB and then we'll put the elements A, B, C, D. It's easy when you write down the elements like this, you can figure out the region, correct region. What is A? A is B and C. What's B? C and D. Then what is A union B? A union B means everything in A as well as in B. So we have to write down everything. B, C, D. From this. So where is B, C, D? Here. B, C, D is to this region. So what's A union B? You can see that inside the two circles. Now take this one. We can do the same thing. What's A union B? We did in previous part A union B is B, C, D. Then what is dash of that outside? Whole thing dash means not B, C, D, the other part. That's A. Now where is A? Outside these two circles. So we can draw the diagram. Like this, outside A union B, we can shade here. So A union B whole thing dash is this region. Now we'll take A intersection B whole thing dash. So we know a union B is A intersection B. We did this before. A intersection B, we found that C. So what is outside that? Not C, all the other elements. So I can write A intersection B dash is everything outside. So A, B, D. Now we can color A, B, D. So look at the Venn diagram. Draw two circles like this and mark A, B. A, B, D is A, B, D. 
city this region so we can mark so everything outside except this region so that's a intersection b whole thing dash now we'll take this one a intersection b dash now when you take the venn diagram a b c d as the elements a b c d simply b c d as the elements from that we can write what is a a is belongs to the a circle b and c b c and d then what is b dash b dash means outside c d a and b now look at these two a and b dash what's common b is common so a and b dash when you take we see b is common so where is b this region so a intersection b dash is this region that means outside b but inside a take this one a dash intersection b now when you take the venn diagram a b we can mark a b c d like this a dash what's a dash outside a that's a d what's b b is c d now common term for a dash and b what's common term for a dash and b which one is common d d is common so we need to shade the d region so that's this part so that's a dash intersection b now we'll look at these two so this is this one and this one is here so we can from the previous section we know a intersection b dash is b what's a dash intersection b that's d union now union means you have to consider all elements for both i can write a inter section b dash union a dash intersection b is b and d now where's b and d when you take the venn diagram a b c d b and d so we have to color b region and d region so that's how we can shade this region exercise 18.2 shade the region denoted by each of the following sets in separate venn diagrams so what's the method we can use the letters a b c d first a b c d a dash first we'll write what is a if this is here it's labeled already no need to label it a is b and c so what's a dash a dash means outside a and d what's b b is c and d what's b dash outside b and outside c and d a and b then we have to take common term intersection 
to a dash and b dash. What's intersection for b dash and a dash? Which one is common? A is common. So only a region. So we have to color the a region. So we'll color this one using another. I'll take orange color. So only a region. A region is this one. Outside B, C, D. Now we'll take the next one. A dash union B dash. A dash union B dash. First we know A dash is this and B dash is this. So what is union? Means we have to consider all elements. A, B, D. That means if you take A, B, C, D like this, we have to color A region, B region and D region. So we'll use A, B, so that means and D region as well, not C. So that's A dash union B dash. Now we'll take this one. A intersection B whole thing dash. Whole thing dash, we need to first consider A intersection B. Now if this is A, B, C, D, what's A intersection B? Common for A and B, that's C. So we can write that C, then whole thing outside. A intersection B dash is outside this A, B, D. A, B, D. Now we'll color the regions for A, B, D. A, B, and D. So not coloring this part. And this one. A union B dash. Now we know A is this, B is this. A union B is everything in B as well as A. We have to write all B, C, D. If you take this is A, B, C, D. B, C, D is a A union B. Now we need A union B whole thing dash. Whole thing dash means outside that. B, C, D outside is just a. Now color the region A. That means this region. Okay, now we'll look at the next one. A intersection B union A union B dash. We found out A intersection B from the previous part. I'll write in different color. If I write A, B, C, D are the elements. A intersection B from the previous part, we found out that C. A union B from the previous part, we found out that's B, C, D. Now, union for both. Union for both means we have to consider all elements. This is union. Here, A union B dash. So here, we have to first take what is A union B dash outside a union B, outside B, C, D, that's A. Now consider this one and intersection B, this one. So union of these two, you get A and C.
here I'll write a union B whole thing dash is just A and C. So what is A and C? You can shade A and C. So A region is this and C region is the inside part. So that's the region for this part. Now take the next one. A intersection B dash whole thing dash. So we need to identify What's A intersection B dash? We know A is, I'll write here, A is B C. What's B dash? We considered before, B dash is A B. Now, A intersection B dash first. That means common term for both A and B dash. What's common? B is common. So you get B here. Now A dash intersection A intersection B dash whole thing dash means outside B. Outside B means A, C, D. So you have to color A, C, D region. A, C, D region. A region is here. C region, D region is here. So we can shade like this. So that's the region for A intersection B dash whole thing dash. Now we look at the next one. A dash intersection B whole thing dash. So we can take A, B, C, D here. A dash. What is A dash? A dash is A and D. What is B? B is this one, C, D. Now we have to consider intersection with these two. A dash intersection B is a dash intersection B, common for both. Only D is common. Now, outside, now we have to take A dash intersection B whole thing dash. That means outside D. Outside D means A, B, C region. Now we'll color A, B, C region. A and B and C. You can't color D region. So that's the A dash intersection B whole thing dash. This one A union B dash. A union B dash. We know A if it's A, B, C, D. A is B, C. What's B dash? We found before B dash is A, B. Now union. A union B dash means everything belongs to A and B dash. A, B, C. Then whole thing dash means everything outside this. You can't take A, B, C. What's the other one? It's D. So you have to color only D region. So only this part. This one A dash union. A dash union B. B. First A dash. What's A dash? Outside A. If this is A, B, C, D. Outside A is A, D, B, 
you get CD. So what's union? A dash union B is everything there. A, C, D. A, C, D. That's union. Now we need whole thing dash. Whole thing dash means outside A, C, D. A, C, D outside mean just B. So we need to shade only the B part. In part B it says by investigating the regions you shades in part A above, find all pairs of equal sets. Now we'll look at carefully and identify equal regions. When you look at these four, what can you see? Can you see these two are equal? Part 2 and 3 equal and part 1 and 4 equal. So we'll write down that 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. So we'll write down there. One and four, two and three. What was the first part? First part was A dash intersection B dash is equal to A union B whole thing dash. We'll write down that A dash. Intersection B dash is equal to A union B whole thing dash. What's 2 and 3? 2 and 3. A intersection B whole thing dash is equal to A dash union B dash. A dash intersection B a intersection B whole thing dash is equal to A dash union B dash. I'll write down other way around. And when you look at the other parts, did you see equal parts there? This one? These regions are different. So, 5, 6, 7, all are different. So, here and what about 8 and 9? Here, B, D. No. Not common region. So only we see these two regions are equal. So when you look at carefully what you see? A dash B dash A dash B dash. But here intersection becomes union. This one union becomes intersection with the same sign. So I'll teach you later about this. We call this is De Morgan's theorem. So we'll talk about that one later. So these sets are equal. Now we'll look at question number two. Shown below is a Venn diagram of two sets A and B, where A is a subset. Here this symbol represents subset. That means inside B. In six copies of this Venn diagram, shade each of the given six regions. A intersection B. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll write A, B, C like this. Only three regions here. So what's A? We can write A. A is C. What is B? Region B is B, C. Then What's common for A and B? When you look at this one, only C is common. So 
So that means A intersection B is only C. So we can color this region. Next one A union B. A union B, if this is A, B, C, A is this, B is this. So A union B is everything in A and B. So I can write B and C. So how can we shade B and C? That means these two regions. So I can color what is A union B. A union B is this region. A dash intersection B. So here, if you write A, B, C here, what is A dash? A dash means outside A, A and B. What is B? B is inside B, B, C. What's common for both? A dash intersection B is common for both, that's B. So only B region we need to shade. So that means only this part. Now look at this one. A dash union B. A dash union B. So first A dash. What's A dash? A and B from the previous one. B is B comma C. Then what is A dash union B? A dash union B is everything in A dash as well as B. So we can write A, B, C. So what's the region? A, B, C. So we can color the whole thing. This one A union B whole thing dash. If this is A B C, A is C, what's B? B is B C. So what's everything belongs to A union B? A union B is everything here, B C. Then what's dash? A union B dash means outside BC. A union B whole thing dash is outside BC. That's A. So we need to shade the A region. A region means outside the two circles. Now look at the next one. A dash intersection, B dash. If you take A, B, C as this region, A dash, we can write A dash means outside C, A, B. What's out, then B, B is B, C. What's A dash intersection B, common for bo both these two sets. Common is, common one is B. Then dash, everything outside means not B, all the others, A and C. So we'll color A and C. So that means this region and C and inside. So you get this region for A dash intersection B whole thing dash. Question number three. The information on the children in a society is shown in the following Venn diagram. The letters A, B, C and D indicate the regions in which the letters are written. And it says this circle, this set is age above 10 years and this is girls. Describe in words the regions indicated by each of the letters A, B, C and D. For example, the boys whose ages are above 10 years are indicated by A. 
So already given the A1. So what is A? A means boys here. That means outside girls. That means boys whose ages are above 10 years. That means inside this. So that's above 10 years. That's the set A. B. How can we write down B? B belongs to girls. That means girls. Girls and also belongs to the set age above 10 years. So here this is girls whose ages are above 10 years. That's the set. C. C is inside the girls set. So that means girls. But outside age above 10 years. So that means we can say what's the outside of age above 10 years? Age below 10 years inclusive 10. So girls whose ages are 10 or less than 10. equal or less than 10. Then D, what's D region? D is just outside. Outside girls, that means definitely that's boys. And outside age above 10 years. So outside age above 10 years means whose ages are 10 or less than 10. Question number 4. It says let F silent. That's the universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. A dash intersection B. A dash intersection B is 4, 5. A intersection B is 3, A union B dash is 1. Include the above information in a suitable Venn diagram and hence find A, A union B and B dash intersection A. So here everything given. So we need to just fill the elements in a Venn diagram. So what are the two uh, sets A and B? Now before we draw we need to see whether there are common elements. A intersection B is 3. That means we have to draw the two circles intersecting each other. So this is A, this is B, this is E or epsilon. And first thing we can do, A intersection B is 3. We can put 3 inside. And then A dash intersection B. A dash, that means not belongs to A, but belongs to B. That means this region, 4 and 5. We can fill those two. Then what about this one? A union B. A union B means inside. Dash means outside the two circles, that's 1. So we can mark 1 outside the two circle. Then how can we mark the other elements? We know this one and 1. We can fill set A. 1 is there. 2 should be here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now all the numbers are inside the rectangle. So we fill the Venn diagram. Now hence find A. So what's the set A? Set A means inside the circle A. 
two, three, six, seven. Then we need A union B. Everything in A as well as B. So that means inside both these two circles. So what are the elements? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's A union B. Then B dash intersection A. B dash. B dash means outside B but intersecting with A. 2, 6, 7. So that's how we write down. Now we look at what's De Morgan's law. In previous section in the exercise I told you what is De Morgan's law is. Here we found out in a Venn diagram the region A dash intersection B dash is the same as A union B whole thing dash and also we found out A dash union B dash is equal to A intersection B whole thing dash. Now look at carefully what you notice. Same A dash B dash here. Instead of intersection sign, you get union. If this is intersection, other side you get union. If this is union, you get intersection. So that's why we call these two a pair of trans transformation law. That means intersection becomes union, union becomes intersection. So here it's easy to remember when you have these two you get same set. This is not in your syllabus but try to remember this one. Just when you have dashes you get dashes but with Instead of intersection, you get union here. Other side, you get opposite sides. Now we we'll look at relationship between the numbers of elements in two sets. Number of elements, what's the symbol we used? Now here, can you remember you did this before? If the set A is there, N A. What is N A means? N A means number of elements in A. Then what is N B means? Number of elements in the set B. So we will try to find out a formula related to number of elements in Two sets. Now we'll take this Venn diagram A, B, and this is the epsilon. Now we'll take A as A, B, C, D, E, F, and we'll take B as A, E, I. O, U. Then F silent is everything there. So here we'll try to mark what's common for A and B. A is common. Then E. E is common. I can put A E. Then inside A I can write B, C, D, E inside and F. Inside capital B, A, E already there, I, O, U. And we'll try to 
find out a relationship between number of elements in this Venn diagram. So what's in A? Number of elements in A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's number of elements in B? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we'll try to find out A intersection B. Common A intersection B is other way around. U upside down. That means common for both A and B. A, E. So what's in A intersection B? You get so I'll write down here in A intersection B is 2. Then A union B. You are trying to find out a relationship. What's A union B? Everything inside A or B or both. I can write everything. A, E, I, O, U, C, B, D, F. B, C, D, F. B, C, D, F. So how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can write in A union B is 9. Now try to find out a relationship. 6 plus 5 you get 11. These two, when you plus it, you get 11. 11 and 2. What's the relationship? 11 minus 2, you get 9. Now we can put this relationship using a formula. We can write in A plus in B. These two add it together and subtract the intersection, number of elements in the intersection. That's equal to number of elements in the union. Or if I take these two, 6 plus 5 and subtract 9, 11 minus 9, you get this one. Or I can write in A intersection B is equal to in A plus in B minus union. So look at these two formulae. Add these two and subtract the common term. You get the union. Why you are getting this one? This is obvious. Because when you are adding A and B to together, you get twice the middle term. For the union, you need only one intersecting region. So that's why when you add these two, you have to subtract one part of the common region to get the union. So you can swap these two there and you can rewrite the equation in this form, this union, you can take it to this side and then this intersection, you can take it to the other side. So this is the relationship between number of elements in A, B, intersection and the union. Now look at this one. You have given A is this, B is this. What's intersection now? Here, no common element. So we can just put two brackets and keep this inside blank. So this is called empty set. Or we can use the symbol chi. So we call null set or empty set. That means no common elements. No common elements. 
then what happens to the diagram? Venn diagram? No common elements means no intersecting of the two circles. So we have to draw the two circles separately. A and B like this, no intersection. And what happens to the previous formula? Now, in earlier we found A union B is equal to in A plus in B minus in A intersection B. But we know now there's no common region. So what's the number of elements in A intersection B? You get zero, nothing there. So that means this part becomes zero. So what's the formula now? We can straight away write down if the two sets are disjoint. So we call two sets are disjoint. If the two sets are disjoint, the number of elements in the common region is zero, then the union, the number of elements in the union is equal to in A plus in B. Now you get a new formula. If this is a disjoint set, then you get this formula. When you get intersection, you can use the previous formula. Now we'll take an example. You have given P set, the number of elements is 12. NQ is 20 and intersection is 5. Find NP union Q. So straight away you can use the formula. What's the formula? NP union Q is equal to NP plus NQ minus NP intersection Q. Now plug those values. Intersection is 5, NP is 12, NQ is 20 and intersection is 5. 12 plus 20, you get 32. 32 minus 5. So what's 32 minus 5? You get 27. Look at the next question. Nx is 16 and y is this, x intersection y is Shy. That means empty set. So which formula we use? We use this is disjoint set. So you can use Nx plus Ny straight away. Then what is Nx? 16. Ny 14. What's the answer? You get 30. Example 1. Information on the numbers of students who participated in football and cricket are shown in the following diagram. In this case, two, the numbers in the regions indicate the numbers of students in the region. So these values are given. How many students are participating in football? Football is this circle. So look at inside, eight and seven. So how can we write down the set notation? It says number of elements. We'll try to write down number of elements in F. What's that? 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. Then the next one, participating in cricket. Cricket means number of elements in C set. That means this one, 7 and 15. 7 plus 15 is 22. Participating in both sports, both football and cricket. That means the common region. How can we write down in symbols? Number of elements in both football and cricket. Football is F, intersection C. So common part is 7. This one, participate in cricket only. Cricket only means this region. How can we write down? Not belongs to C, but belongs to F. We can write down 
this one as participating cricket only means this one. That means belongs to C but outside F. That's F dash. So that's equal to 15. Participating in football only means this region in F intersection C dash. That's 8. Participating in football or cricket or both. That means union. A N F union C. That means everything inside. 8 plus 7 plus 15. So that's equal to 8 plus 7, 15. 15 plus 15, you get 30. Now next part, not participating in football. That means not belongs to F. How can we write down? N F dash. F dash means outside F. You get 15 and this 5 also. 15 plus 5, you get 20. This one, not participating in cricket. That means outside cricket. So N C dash. So that means 8 and 5. 8 plus 5, 13. Participating in exactly in one of the two sports. So exactly one means either only football or only cricket. You can write down this region is, how can you mark this region? This one, N, F, intersection C dash, this one, that's 8, union with the other section. Other section is this one, this part, 15, C intersection F dash. So when you count these two regions, you get 8 and 15, you get 20. Three. Last one, participating in neither of the two sports. That means not belongs to F, not belongs to C. That means outside. So how can we write down? N, F, union, C, dash. Because outside the union. So what's that? Outside is just 5. Question number 2. Example 2, the information obtained through a survey from a set of farmers in a certain village about the kind of crop they grow in their farms is shown in the following Venn diagram. So you are asked to find out these answers. How many farmers are growing vegetables? So we'll try to write down the notation as well. Vegetables is Y. So N Y. How many belongs to Y? 25. Paddy. Paddy means this whole circle. N X. N X means 7 and 25. You get 32. Only Paddy. Only Paddy means here you are asked to write down only Paddy. So not vegetables. So that means this region. So we can write the notation x intersect with y dash. That's 7, this outside part. Only vegetables means only vegetables. This is not belongs to paddy. So we need to find out x dash intersection y. x dash intersection y. There is no common region for that. So that means this is 0. Both vegetables and paddy. How we write down? Vegetables and paddy means intersection. Common region for x and y. That is y. So you can write 25. Vegetables or paddy. So or means union x union y x 
union Y means everything belongs to X or Y or both. So that means 7 plus 25, you get 32. Neither of the two crops, that means outside. So we can write down X union Y whole thing dash. So number of elements belongs to X union Y whole thing dash. That means outside the two circles, 13. How many farmers were surveyed? So according to this information, 13 plus 7 plus 25 farmers were there. So you can write down, that's the epsilon, number of elements in the epsilon. 13 plus 7 plus 25. 13 plus 7 is 20. 20 plus 25, 45 farmers are there. Exercise 18.3. Find number of elements in A union B if Na is this, Nb 24 and intersection is 11. So we can straight away use the formula. What's the formula? Number of elements A union B is Na plus Nb minus Na intersection. B. Na is 35, Nb is 24, minus 11. When you add these two, you get 59, minus 11, 8 and 4. 48 is the answer. This one, Ny and A. find Ny if the information are like this. So straight away you can use the formula. N x union y is equal to N x plus N y minus N x intersection y. Now plug the values N x is 60. We need to find out N y. Intersection is 5 and the union is 29. Now you have to make this one as a subject. 16 minus 5, you get 11. 11 plus NY equals 29. So what's NY? Number of elements in Y is 29 minus 11. You get 18 is the answer. Third question, find intersection. Number of elements in the intersection and again, you can use the formula. P union Q is equal to number of elements in P plus number of elements in Q minus number of elements P intersection Q. Number of elements in P, 70. Q, 55. And intersection is, we need to find out that one. And union is 110. 70 plus 55, you get 125. Then, when you take it to the other side, you get this one positive. Intersection Q is 125 minus 110. When you subtract, you get 15 as the answer. This one. You are asked to find out the intersection and what is the special about sets A and B. We will first use the formula. Again, we can make intersection as the subject. That is also equal to Na plus Nb minus, in, now in, intersection is there, you can write down the union. Na is 19, Nb is 16, and union is 35. 35 minus 35, you are getting intersection is 0. So what can you say about the two sets? These two are not intersecting, or we can write A, B, A and B are 
disjoint sets. It has no intersection. Question number five. The numbers belonging to each region is indicated in the following Venn diagram. You are asked to find out in P. P is this circle. So, 5 and 8. Get 30. What's in Q? Belongs to Q. That's 8 and 4. You get 12. Intersection. P intersection Q. That means a common region. That's 8. What's union? Belongs to all three inside P and Q. 5, 8 and 4. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus 4, 17. And verify the formula, this one. So, we'll try to substitute the values. Now, formula, we'll take the left hand side of the formula. In P union Q, that's 17. That's equal to. Right hand side, we'll substitute the values. In P, 13. In Q, 12. Intersection is 8. What you get? When you add these two, you get 25 minus 8. You get 17. Now we see left hand side is equal to right hand side. So it's verified. Both sides are equal. Question number six. In a sports club of 60 members, 30 play cricket, 25 play LA and 15 play both. Include this information in a Venn diagram. We'll try to draw a Venn diagram. Two sets are there. And... There are uh, people for both. So that means there is an intersection. We will denote cricket as C and LA as E. And 60 members all together. So that means epsilon. N epsilon is 60. 30 play cricket. That means this one is 30. So we'll put 30 just outside the circle. 25 play LA. That means just outside, just here on the line, you can put that number. 15 play both. That means definitely this is 15. Now we can fill those inside parts. The full circle is 30. So what is this part? 30 minus 15. So this part is 15. How you got that value? 30 minus 15. This whole circle is 25 and this is 15. So what's the answer? You get 10 here. How did you get this answer? 25 minus 15. Then... It says include this and now we have to see how many members are not playing cricket and LA. So how can we do that? We add these two to get three together. 15 and 15, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. But all together 60 there. So 60 minus 40, you get 20. So that means 20 members are not playing cricket and LA. Now, that's the Venn diagram. How many members do not play either of the above two sports? That means this region. So, we can straight away write down 20. How many members play LA but not cricket? So, that means outside cricket but inside LA. So That means this part. How many play? 10. Question number seven. Out of 30 who attended a party, 12 ate kaum, 28 cookies and 5 did not eat either of these. Represent this information in a Venn diagram. 
So we'll try to draw. So all together 30. 30 members are there. So if silent, number of elements in universal is 30. Kaum we can take as K. And Kokis, we'll write down the word because both K. Kaum and we'll write Kokis here. 12, 8 kavum means here just on the circle we can write down 12. 28 cookies. So 20 here. 5 did not eat either of these means outside the two circles. Now, how can we find out this value? So here when you add these two, 20 and 12, you are getting twice of intersection as well. And here when you take the difference, you can find out the intersection. So here out of 35 outside, so that means inside should be 30 minus 5, that's 25. But when you add these two, 12 and 20, what you get? you get 32. Difference between these two, you get the intersection. So we can find out the intersection. Kaum and Kokis intersection is 32 minus 25. That's 7. So that means this is 7. If this is 7 and this is 12, you get this one 5. 20 minus 7, this is 30. Now see whether you get 30. 7 plus 13, 20. 25 and 5, 30. This is the diagram. Now we'll try to answer the questions. Find the number, of, number that ate both these food items. That's seven. How many of them ate only one of these two food items? Only, only means only cow or only cookies. So that means five and 13, you get 80. Question number eight. Out of 40 students in a class, 21 do not like to listen to the radio, 10 do not like to watch TV and 8 do not like either of the two activities. Represent this information in a Venn diagram. So what are the two circles? Listen to radio, we'll denote by R and TV. It says 40 students in a class. So this is outside is 40. Number of Elements in the universal is 40. 21 do not like to listen to the radio. That means outside our circle, that's 21. I can write in R dash is 21. 10 do not like to watch TV. That means in outside TV is 8. That's 10. Dash. This is dash. 8 do not like either of these two activities means this one is 8. So how can we find out? R dash. R dash means this and this. Now R dash is 21. So how can we find out this value? 21 minus 8. So this becomes 21 minus 8, 13. So this is 30. Uh, in TV dash means outside TV, that's 10. But 8 is already there. This becomes 2. Now how can we fill this part? You need to get 40. 13 plus 2, 15. 15 plus 8, 
23. And then 40 minus 23, you get the common region. 17. So you get 17 inside. So now we can answer the questions. How many of the students like both activities? That's 17. How many of the students like only to watch TV? Only to watch TV is this part. That's 13. Question number 9. From a group of 35 children who participate in a game, 19 were boys and 17 were above 15 years. Six of the girls who participated were aged below 15 years. Represent this information in a Venn diagram. We can take one circle as girls. So outside girls means boys. And one circle as age above 15. So altogether 35. So this is 35. Now try to fill the gaps. 19 were boys. That means number of ele elements G dash is 19. Then how many girls are there? 35 altogether. 19 outside. So straight away we can find out number of girls 35 minus 19. 16. So this is 16 girls are there. Then 17 were above 15 years. So above 15 altogether 17. 6 of the girls who participated were aged below 15 years. Age below means outside this circle. That means this part is given 6. Now we'll try to fill the other parts. The whole circle is 16. This is 6. That means this part is 10. This whole circle is 17. This is 10. This is 7. Then, then what's outside? 6 plus 10, 16. 16 plus 7, 23. 35 minus 23, you get outside. That's 12. Now we'll try to answer the question. How many boys were above 15 years? Now boys means outside. Above 15 means inside. That's 7. Question number 10. From a group of 80 who went on a trip, 50% were wearing hats but were not wearing wristwatches. 40% of the group were wearing wristwatches out of which 30 were also wearing hats. Represent this information in a Venn diagram. So here, we try to draw all together 80. So in F silent, is 80. 50% were wearing hats. So I can take a circle. So 50% were wearing hats but were not wearing wristwatches. So we'll take HS hats and WS wearing wristwatches. So out of, now 50% means out of 80, 50% means 40. 40 were wearing hats but were not wearing wristwatches. So outside W and inside H, that means this is 40. And also 40% 40 of the group were wearing wristwatches. So 40% of 80. So what's the value? You get 32. That's wearing wristwatches. So this becomes 32. And out of which 30 were also wearing hats. So here 40% of group were wearing wristwatches. Out of which 30 were also wearing hats means this one is 30.
This is 32, this is 30, so this becomes 2. Now, how can we find out outside? 40 plus 30, 70, 70 plus 2, 72. 80 minus 72, you get 8. So that's 8 outside. Now we'll try to answer the question, how many of the group were not wearing either, either of the above mentioned two items? That means 8. That's outside region. Question number 11. In a certain village, 36 farmers grow potatoes and 18 farmers grow only chilies. Furthermore, the number of those who do not grow potatoes is 24 and the number of those who do not grow chilies is 26. Represent this information in a Venn diagram. So what are the two sets? Potatoes, growing potatoes and chilies. I can take P as potatoes. C as chilies and all together how many farmers 36 farmers grow potatoes it's not mentioned the total number of farmers 36 farmers grow potatoes that means this is 36 18 farmers grow only chilies only chilies means this part 18 furthermore the number of those who do not grow potatoes is 24. That means outside this one is 24. This is 18 there. So what is this region? 24 minus 18, you get 6. So this region is 6. And it says, and the number of those who do not grow chilies is 26. That means outside C is 26. This is 6 is there already. So what should be this number? This should be 20 because 20 and 6 becomes 26. Now we'll try to fill the other parts. 36 minus 20, you get 16 here. Now all together, how many farmers are there? 20 plus 16, 36. 36 plus 18, you get 54. 54. 4 plus 6, 60. That means how many farmers? All together, 60 farmers. Now we'll try to answer the questions. How many of the farmers grow neither of the two crops? That means outside the two circles, that's 6. How many of the farmers grow both crops? That means inside. That means 16. Question number 12. A survey conducted in a certain village on 80 randomly selected households revealed the following information. So when you are drawing a Venn diagram, everything given, that means universal set is 80. Five households had neither water supply nor electricity. So that means those are the two sets. Electricity, having electricity and having water supply. So we can take electricity as E, water supply as W. So five households had neither. That means outside these two circles. 30 households had no electricity. No electricity means outside E. That's 30. 5 is already there. This becomes 25. The number of households having only water supply was 7 more than the number that had both water supply and electricity. So if this is, we'll put X. The number of households having only water supply. Only water supply was 7 more than the number that had both this one. So that means x plus 7 is given 25. So what's x? 25 minus 7. 18. So we can find out x as this number is 18.
next one that's all given now try to fill the other gaps 18 and 25 43 43 plus 5 you get 48 this region 48 so this one becomes 80 minus 48 32 now we'll try to answer the questions represent this information in a Venn diagram how many households had both water supply and electricity that means the common region that's 80 how many households had electricity but not water supply electricity but not water that that means 32 how many households had no water supply that means outside w 32 and 5 you get 37 how many households has exactly one of these facilities one of these facilities means 32 is only electricity 25 only water supply when you add it together you get 57 in this lesson we discussed about all set notations mainly set builder notation so remember how to write down set builder notation as well as how to draw Venn diagrams.